All right. So in this lecture, what we're going to talk about is basically optimizing Logic Pro so that you can activate or utilize all of its editing features. OK, because once we just really get started editing audio and editing some things here, you're going to find that there's certain things you're not going to be able to do if you don't unlock all of its editing features here or editing functions. So. All right. So it's very simple to actually unlock all of the editing fit functions in Logic Pro 10. Uh, what you're going to want to do is come up here to where it says Logic Pro 10 right here or X. Click on it, go down to preferences, advanced tools. All right. If this is unchecked, please check it. When you check it and make sure everything right here is checked too. As you see, it enables advanced features, including project alternatives and backups, beat mapping, expanded mixing and automation capabilities, additional editors and browsers and more. Additional options become available and can be individually enabled. So, you know, what I'm saying you want to make sure that you have every once one of these selected, because once we start getting going, once you start, you know, actually working on your project and and doing some of the different things that you're going to learn as far as like with um, editing and, and tricks and tips, if this stuff is not selected first. You know, what I mean, you're going to be lost. You're going to be like, yo, what's going on? All right. So make sure that you do that again. It's very simple. Go up to Logic Pro 10 or Logic Pro X right here at the top. Click on it. Scroll down to preferences and you can go down to advanced tools. Boom. Make sure this is checked. That's simple. That's the first thing you're going to want to do before doing anything, because this this course is all about tips and tricks. Please, please, please make sure that's selected. And we're going to get going.